Hey everyone, my name is Sahil and in today's video we will talk about equipotential bonding. In this video we will discuss the applications of equipotential bonding, the comparisons with earthing and the advantages provided by equipotential bonding. We'll dive deep into these topics to help you understand the safety practices. But let's start by understanding what exactly is equipotential bonding. Equipotential bonding is a technique that minimizes the risk of equipment damage and personal injury by connecting all metals and conductive materials in an earthing system. This ensures they all have the same or equal potential energy or voltage preventing objects from electrical shocks. So why is equipotential bonding so critical for safety? Let's understand this concept with the help of a simple example. Imagine you're part of a team who's responsible for installing a new telephone tower. The tower comprises of various components such as antennas, cables, a control panel, all of which are earth. However, Due to their different roles and location within the tower, these components may have different electrical potentials. Now, let's say a technician is working on the control panel and accidentally comes into contact with a cable running from the antenna. If there is a potential difference between these two earth objects, the technician could experience an electrical shock which could be fatal. To avoid such accidents, equipotential bonding is necessary. In this case, equipotential bonding ensures that all the earth components of the telephone tower, including the antennas, the control panels, all of them have the same electrical potential. By eliminating the potential differences, the risk of electrical accidents is minimized. Ensuring the safety of the technicians and other workers involved in this project. However, proper equipotential bonding not only saves lives but also prevents equipment damage and enhances the overall safety of your project. You can ensure the quality of this bonding by doing a resistance test. People often get confused between earthing and equipotential bonding. So let's compare equipotential bonding with earthing. Both of these techniques have the same aim and that is to prevent electric shocks. However, earthing focuses on reducing contact voltage during specific instances of electrical faults, while equipotential bonding ensures that all conductive paths, including non-electrical metallic equipment, are connected to the earthing system. This reduces the overall touch and step potential, providing a safe environment for everyone. You can watch our video about touch and step potential to learn more about it. Equipotential bonding connects not only the electrical devices but also non-electrical metallic equipment like building columns, roofs, pipes and gates to the earthing system. This is different from earthing where only electrical products connect to a network. Now let's discuss the various applications of equipotential bonding. Equipotential bonding is used in grounding systems to connect different parts of the system such as test joints, disconnection points and potential compensation elements. This can be done using wall mounted connections. Other applications include neutralizing potential differences. In situations where faulty equipment like a water cooler or geyser increases the current passing through pipes. Equipotential bonding is used to connect the pipe network to the earthing system. This allows earth leakage devices to operate and neutralizes the potential difference. Static charge grounding. In industrial settings, fluid carrying pipes, mechanical equipment and other devices can accumulate static charges. These charges can be extremely dangerous, especially in hazardous areas. Equipotential bonding is used to ground these charges, ensuring a safer working environment. Lightning protection. Equipotential bonding can be used to connect metal building components such as roofs and cladding sheets to other parts of the building like pipe racks and pipes. This helps to prevent sparking during lightning strikes, protecting both people and equipment. Finally, let's address some advantages of equipotential bonding. Enhanced safety. 
Equipotential bonding improves overall safety by minimizing the risk of electric shock and equipment damage. By ensuring all conductive materials are at the same potential, dangerous potential differences are eliminated. Corrosion resistance. The copper components used in equipotential bonding systems are electro-tinned to prevent corrosion and oxidation, ensuring a long-lasting reliable connection. I hope you now have a clear idea about equipotential bonding and its applications. At Axis, we have a team of 40 plus engineers who are here to help you design, install and test your lightning protection and earthing systems. Our products have been used in substations, data centers, factories and even everyday residential and commercial buildings. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to our channel for more videos about lightning protection, grounding systems and other videos about electrical engineering. I'll see you in the next video.